I'm going to show you how you can write on your text with an After Effects. I'm going to give you three examples and one example includes using an Illustrator file. So the first example is using the typewriter effect. Here is my text layer. I've just created this using the character panel just here. I then click effects and presets and type in typewriter and I drop it on the text layer. Scrolling down to animator one, I click range selector and you can see the keyframes. So After Effects have done that for you already. I can make the animation shorter. I can make the animation longer. I just move the end keyframe. I scroll down to advanced and I can change a few properties. So I can press characters and scroll down to words. This means that After Effects will reveal it on word by word. I can go back and click lines and After Effects will reveal my text line by line. But for now I'm going to keep it on characters. I think it looks cute and very typewritery. Second example I'm going to show you is a slow fade on. So here's the composition. Here is my text. Again, I've created that using the character panel. I go to effects and preset and type in slow fade on. I then scroll down. I find my keyframes. So because my current time indicator wasn't at the beginning, After Effects has just started it where my current time indicator is. So I'm going to highlight that and move it back. And After Effects is doing all the work. So if I scroll down, I click characters and then go to words again, After Effects brings up it word by word. So that's that example. Now I'm going to show you my third example. If you ever use Illustrator files with an After Effects, this is for you. Import your file. I always import composition and document size. More on that in another tutorial. I then open up the composition, my layer is in, that I want. And I've only got one layer here. You can use more than one layer. I get my pen tool and I create a mask. But this mask is a little bit different because I'm going to show After Effects where to put a revealing stroke. So what you want to do, you want to put your mask in the middle or as much as possible within your text. If you ever need to bend your mask, use the options key and keep going until you have done all your text. Now once you're done, you should have a mask a bit like this. Go to your effects and preset tab, type in stroke. Here it is, and then pick it up and put it over your text layer. Now here you've only got one mask, so highlight that. You don't need to click on masks. Then make your brush size bigger. As you can see, it's getting bigger in the composition panel. Click here and then go to reveal original image. Now you need to move your current time indicator to where you want your animation to end. Create a end keyframe. Move your current time indicator to the beginning and then bring your end value down so that it automatically creates a keyframe. Bring it down to the timeline panel where I like to work. And then when you play it, it reveals the stroke on, which is revealing your text. Now this is the longest way to reveal on text, but if you're using Illustrator files, you sometimes don't have a choice. This is also really good when you're using whiteboard animation as well. You can just use a mask and then animate the mask on and off using a stroke. Sometimes like now, it's not 100% right. So you need to tweak and move the mask and maybe move and change the brush size as well. Sometimes the brush size is too big, sometimes it's too small, which means it doesn't reveal the layer underneath enough. So play around with your mask, make sure it's revealing what you want it to reveal at the right time. But there we go, three really simple ways to write on your text. Obviously, if you can create the text in After Effects and then reveal it on. But working with Illustrator files, that's not always possible. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.